the leaders, political leaders, Democrats, Republicans, military leaders, generals, admirals, the ones responsible for taking 20 years of service and sacrifice and spitting all over those people, all over them. And I'll never forget the anger. You probably remember I was screaming and yelling that day when Afghanistan fell. Because look, Afghanistan was going to fall. The Taliban were too tough for the loser Afghan security forces we'd been training for so long. So it was going to fall. But we just yanked all our guys out of Bagram. We, of course, left a bunch of ISIS terrorists in the jail on Bagram. They were, of course, set free immediately. And then the country begins to fall. And Joe Biden, Joe Biden couldn't, he couldn't even be bothered to go to work. Where, where is the president? You know, why, why isn't he communicating fulsomely to the American people? The president has been deeply engaged in all of the policy conversations. Totally different story than a few weeks ago, right? I mean, why isn't he out there now? Kabul fell yesterday. Where is the president? Uh, I mean, again, uh, Brianna, the president has spoken to this extensively, and I expect that he will speak to it again soon. Soon. In the coming days, should we hear something from him today? Do you expect that? It seems like the moment demands that. I'm not going to get ahead of uh, uh, both decision-making and announcements on this. All I can say at this point is that we expect the president again to address uh, the American people on Afghanistan, and as soon as we have more to say about that, we will. While 20 years of service and sacrifice were being flushed down the drain by Joe Biden and his administration, he was on the beach. He was on the beach. Remember Anthony Blinken, Secretary of State? He was also on vacation. Jen Psaki, press secretary, on vacation. 20 years of service and sacrifice thrown away. And the people throwing it away couldn't be bothered to put down the suntan lotion and come into work. And just thinking about it all over again, it, it angers me to no end. And we're not, gonna, we're not gonna let Dome get away with acting like she wasn't involved either. Whether or not what she's about to say here was true or not, it was probably a lie. She couldn't wait to run to the cameras and own the entire thing. President Biden always said that he wants you to be the last person in yeah. the room, particularly for big decisions, just as he was for President yeah. Obama. He just made a really big decision. Afghanistan. Yes. Were you the last person in the room? Yes. And you feel comfortable? I do. Couldn't wait to brag while our people were dying, while 20 years was thrown away.